So we've got all this beautiful produce, but the question is, how can you tell when things are ripe? I've got a couple tricks to show you. One is avocados. I buy these all the time and I put them in everything. Sometimes this one's hard as a rock. Still, how do you know? One thing I like to look at is that when you go to remove the stem there, if it's hard to get out of there, it's probably not ready. This one, not ready. Then I take this one and I can tell by touching it that it's a lot softer. It's not mushy. It still looks full. Let's see what happens when I take the stem out. What you really want for a ripe one is that the color of the flesh matches what it should be, right? So this is green, this is perfect. You're not gonna get a lot of brown spots inside. Onto one of my favorites, pineapple. You might not know this trick. You can certainly look by color, you can look for golden pineapple, but you should be able to pull a leaf easily from it. That one is like too easy. It's amazing, let's try another. Yeah, see how easily that came out? Another cool trick that I learned while I was on vacation in Hawaii at a plantation, twist the crown, turn it upside down. If you let this sit for about three hours before you cut into it, all of those beautiful sugars are gonna distribute evenly throughout the pineapple and every bite is gonna be delicious. Okay, another one, melons. I mean, how many tricks have we seen? Do you knock on it? Do you smell it? What I look for is that it feels substantial in your hands, that it's weighted. You should be able to press into it a little bit so it shouldn't be too hard. You can try to smell it. Some are more fragrant than others but I think this one's just right. Another thing to consider when buying produce is when are you gonna use it throughout the week? If I'm not gonna make guacamole until six days from now, I'm okay buying these super firm ones and letting them ripen up at home. So think about that for all of your cooking during the week. Mm -hmm.